guys, it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have Nikki and Liz with me, my hey guys. twin sister. And yeah, what's this video about? You said you wanted to be on my channel for Fullness Monday. Yeah, you said you wanted to be on my channel for Just let me do the intro. Hey guys, I'm Nikki Liz and today I'm gonna be on Sam's channel as a guest for her Mindfulness Monday video. And I just wanted to talk about social media and digital distortion because I find it to be a pretty interesting topic. Get the video started. So Nicole, in your definition, what is digital distortion? So I came across the term digital distortion because it was like a topic, surprisingly, that I learned from Iggy Azalea. And it was supposed to be the name of her album that was never released. And pretty much what digital distortion is, is like people putting up this facade and making their life or like images of their life seem perfect when really it's all done through like editing or even by somebody posting like a bunch of perfect pictures in a row and not showing you the bad sides of their like life, the bad aspects of it that's digital distortion because they're putting up this false image of themselves and I feel like we're all guilty of it. Like if you have Instagram, guilty as charged. Like, <laughs> unless you're running a Finsta account. Very true, Finsta mm -hmm. is very real. <laughs> but then again, I don't really like Finsta because I feel like it's always negative. down and negative. So I don't have a Finsta. I don't really follow anybody's Finstas just because it's very draining and I'd rather invest my time into doing something productive. So if I'm having an Instagram page, uh, I'd like to focus on something that is there to better myself. So I actually am really into meditation and like this mindfulness stuff and everything now. And I actually started up a page called Blonde Electra. Here's why. So the movie. I didn't know about this. <laughs> yeah, I haven't really posted on it yet or anything. So the movie Electra is pretty much like this ninja, like warrior, like superhero from Marvel. And she's played by Jennifer Garner. And she's into like meditation and she's like so badass. And I was like, wow, me. And then she has dark hair, so blonde, I'm blonde. So I just named the page Blonde Electra, and I really want to focus on like maybe posting meditation exercises on there, yoga. I think that could be something that's good to invest my time in, opposed to running a Finsta page where I'm just going to complain and be upset about how my life's going. I think if you're having a bad day, then why not take the initiative to do something to make it better instead of just sitting in your sitting emotions? In, yeah, exactly. And I also took it upon myself to delete other social medias, so things like Snapchat that I don't really need, but I used, I deleted because it was just like streaks and just like mindless garbage. <laughs> so I deleted that and I also deleted Fisco because I found myself comparing like my pictures to other people's and it was just like very unhealthy. I feel like everybody constantly does that. Like we always compare ourselves in like our lives and our lifestyles to other people's and we wish like, wow, like I wish I had their life. Mm -hmm. Or like you think your life is going so good and then you go on someone else's page and it's just like, oh, well my life isn't as great as I thought it was. Right. So at least with my personal Instagram, I'm trying to treat it more like a photo album or like a scrapbook but I do like putting like artistic things up once in a while but I don't really scroll through my Instagram feed anymore like looking at other people's pictures as petty and weird as it sounds it's just I don't know I found it healthier if I use it more as like a scrapbook so I'll look at my family's posts I'll look at my friends posts I'll look at Drew Barrymore's posts but am I really gonna look at everybody else's no. Occasionally I will, but I don't really spend that much more time on Instagram as much as I used to. The only people where like I really like go on their pages and I look is like the people that I follow on social media, like on YouTube, like people that I look up to. 
so like Nikki and Gabby I go on their pages a lot because like my style is like very inspired right. by Gabby or and like Aspen Ovard like I look at their pages yeah. a lot but like I look at family and friends too of course Graham if you want to draw inspiration from people but I don't think it's good if you want to use it to compare yourself to other people so I've been using it to use it as like an artistic outlet like I love photography and doing fun little photo shoots with my friends and I like gathering inspiration from other people like Marla, Catherine, Avery, like they all have amazing photos, Aspen. So I like looking at their stuff once in a while, but I'm not sitting here like, oh my God, I wish I looked like that. Because once you start like thinking like that, like I feel like it just attracts negative energy around you too. Yeah, and I love how like we could self-express through social media. Instagram is like a huge outlet for me and so is YouTube because it shows that Nicole and I are different people. Like we're constantly paired together. Like, yeah, here's my page. They're Sam's page. Yeah. <laughs> Put the pictures up. Literally. Like, uh. When I go on Instagram or YouTube, I'm able to like express who I am as a person and show my style and show like my color schemes and stuff. And like Nicole's able to do the same. Like she is badass. I'm more of like a girly girl and it's like a place where we could self-express and like that's really what I use social media for so people know me for who I am not like as just being Nicole's twin sister but I think it's also interesting growing up in this day and age because a lot of people would just post things for likes or alter their style just so they get likes like I remember when I was a diehard Ariana Grande fan like Sam and I were hardcore Arianators and we loved her music. I loved going to her concerts. Like, it was just a good time. I had a fan account. But I feel like my style was never like, ooh, pink, girly, fun. But I made my like Instagram account like a pink feed for a while. I used to wear my hair like Ariana's, even though it hurt like heck. And oh my gosh, there would be like big like knots in my hair just because our hair is like pretty like thin and fine. So whenever we put it half up, half down, like the ponytail holder would just get stuck and you'd be like, oh shoot. Oh shoot. <laughs> but I don't know. I feel like my style was never like supposed to be like that. And I feel like through like Instagram likes and like people telling Ariana Grande that she's beautiful under her Instagram posts, I was like, wow, I want to look like Ariana Grande. So I'd look for validation in people and I'd post pictures that made me look like Ariana Grande. And when I got that comment that said, oh, you remind me of Ariana Grande. You look like Ariana we Grande. We both got that a lot. Yeah. Then I'd be super happy. And then if I didn't have a picture where I looked like her, I wouldn't post it. It was like or a bizarre it, phase. Or it would go in perfect 365, which like I highly regret because like you shouldn't alter the way you mm. look in apps and through like Photoshop and stuff because like just know like you need to appreciate who you are so. yeah so I feel so much happier now that I'm able to express myself I'm not comparing myself to other people I'm really happy with the person I am and I'm really proud of who you grew to be too oh thanks <laughs> right back at you all right so I think we covered a lot is there anything else that you wanted to talk about before we close up the video you have anything? I did have an idea. Okay, what was that? I was gonna have you pick a mindfulness card. Okay, so we're picking a mindfulness card now because we're done talking and <laughs> you guys are probably done hearing us talk. <laughs> so um, I started like this on my channel where on every mindfulness Monday I pick from this card pile. It's mindfulness cards and I'm gonna have Nicole pick today and whatever you read they have to do for homework. So, homework. Yep, homework. Yeah. Mm. But this is fun homework. So, you can do kindness, insight, and awareness, curiosity, and joy, or rest and balance. I picked from the rest and balance one for my anxiety video that I just put up this Monday. So, did you want to pick a new one from like a new section? They want to do curiosity and joy just because I love joy. My grandma's name, it's like a very strong connection. Wow, that's blank. Yeah, that's what happened to me last week. That's weird, right? Maybe you're supposed to make your own card. Maybe. How can I love more? There are few better questions than how can I love more? This invites us to look for opportunities to connect more deeply with others in all of our relationships. Sometimes it will mean putting more energy into being present or generous even when you don't feel like it. Sometimes it will be about being more present and generous with yourself. 
love yourself that's a great theme for this video even if that feels self-indulgent spend five minutes thinking about how you can cultivate more love for yourself and for those around you however it manifests in manifests itself it is a beautiful filter through which to engage with your world i feel like that was a, like a really good card spell not only because like self-love and everything but being present in the moment like when you're on social media and stuff and when you're on your phone you're not being present in the moment like you're living through your phone so like there comes a time where you need to take a moment for yourself and put the phone down and just enjoy things for what they are not just to save them in your camera roll and brag about it on social media but to just remember it as it was there's so much you miss when you're on your phone like i don't know sometimes when we go out as a family and like our dad's driving or something and i'm in the back seat like listening to my music i'll be scrolling through my phone and then like i don't know i'd rather just look out the window now because you realize how much you miss because i don't know i just like people watching and like seeing wildlife like you miss so many things like I don't know, I could be looking down at my phone and my dad could be like, Oh, did you see that deer? Did you see that groundhog? I'd be like, what? Where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, it's totally fine to like listen to music if you're in a long car ride and stuff. You have your headphones in. But stay off social media. Yeah, but like for half the car ride, at least take the headphones out and like engage in conversation. If you want, like if you're really not up for conversation because maybe like a fight happened or an argument, leave the headphones in, look out the window and just stay off social media and just like, Look outside and pretend like you're in a beautiful music video because that's what I do sometimes. We all do it. Guilty. We all do it. Yeah. All right. So that concludes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for coming on my channel. Thank you for having me. And I hope you come back on my channel soon. Probably and will. <laughs> probably. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you guys so much and stay tuned for the next Mindfulness Monday. Subscribe to her. <laughs> and her. <laughs> Bye. Bye.